ليقتله والمعايش التي جعل الله تعالى لعباده إنما هي التقاط من الأرض المباحة والرعي والزراعة والصناعة والتجارة والسياسة المدينة والملة وكل كسب تجاوز عنها فإنه لا مدخل له في تمدنهم وانحدر بعضهم إلى أكساب ضارة كالسرقة, كالسرقة والغصب وهذه كلها مدمرة للمدينة فألهم أنها محرمة واجتمع بن آدم كلهم على ذلك وإن باشرها العصاة منهم في خلواء نفوسهم وسعى الملوك العادلة في إبطالها ومحقها واستشعر بعضهم سعي الملوك في إبطالها فانحدروا إلى الدعوة إلى الدعاوي الكاذبة إلى الدعاوي الكاذبة واليمين الغموس والشهادة الزور وتطفيف الكيل والوزن والقمار والربا أضعافا مضاعفة إلى آخره بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم محمد وآله وأصحابه جمعين إمام رحمة الله عليه from the very beginning in this chapter he says that human is an animal like all other animals animals are in need of food and drink same is the case of human they are in need of house and shelter to live there in and to, to protect themselves from cold and hot same is the case of human but as far as the animals and birds are concerned they are in the love stage of this life so the birds they are making their nest then they lay eggs then the male and the female both they are taking care of the kids and feeding them then there are animals they are making holes and they are living there in in the mountains or in the mafawes and sahara or somewhere else and also these birds and animals they are eating things in its raw shape yes raw grain or raw grass now the human as they are the elevated they are elevated. the elevated what is the theory of darwin say Darwin theory. Huh? Say. Evolution. Yes. So, elevated status and position of human over all the animals. Over all the animals. That is because of what? So, Darwin says that that is because that they are social. Otherwise, their body structure is like that of apes. Got it? Imam Ramatullah Ali says that they are not only social, but they are aqil as well. They have the aqal, and based on aqal, they have become social. They are living with one another. They have the family life. They have the social life. They have the political life. They have the town life, the village life, the city life, and so and so on. So Imam Ramatullah Ali says, because of that, they are not eating things in raw shape. So they eat the wheat like that of birds, but they are making paratha. Got it? And they are eating the grass. Yes? What, what is vegetable? Vegetable is grass. What is vegetable? vegetable? Say. Vegetable is grass. So they are eating the vegetable, but they are cutting it and making it delicious. They are eating the meat. But not raw like that of dogs, cats, lions and coyotes. But they are cooking it. They are making barbecue or khadai. And yes, Abdul Qudus, that's why he is sitting there. Yes, so people are coming and they are eating khadai. And they are, so Imam Rahmatullahi Ali says that all these animals and birds, whatever they are doing, that is Ilham Jibili. Natural inspiration to them. Yes. Or they are going to school. That how to live their life. Have you ever seen the school of birds. That how to live their life. Yes. They are living there in the desert. And they know how to live their life. Same is the case of animals. But the human. They have been given. This type of. Ilham Jibili. But a little bit. To some extent. Like the baby is born. So right away. Without teaching him or getting training from anyone. When the mom take him to the nipple. So he start. 
Got it? So that is Ilham Jibili. Got it? Or if the milk that stuck there in his chest. So Imam Ramatullah says that nobody has taught him or given him the training that you have to cough. Yes, but the baby naturally is. <coughs> Got it? As Sual and the Boha. Imam Ramatullah, he used the word As Sual and the Boha. So, anyhow, and uh, sometime uh, or most of the time, they are looking at others, those who have the Nuri Malaki, they are furthermore wise. So, the common lay people. They are doing their taqlid. So then Imam Rahmatullahi Ali, he said that now this is also a revelation from Allah that Allah revealed and inspired to all human naturally that when you are social and you have the aql, you are living together in a village, in a town, in a city, in a state. So that is in need of a system. That's in need of a system. And to disturb and destroy the system of village or the system of town, city and state, that is haram. That's in their nature. And that's why you have ever seen that there is a government who allow the people to destroy the system. Say, if you see anyone, say, tell me. Yes, that legally they say, they destroy the system. Yes, we will honor you. Got it? And we will give you a medal. Will you? No, that is haram and a crime everywhere. That's a natural revelation or natural inspiration by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Imam Ramatullah Ali says that how the social life or the political life of human, you can call it plural life. You can hear what? How? Because social life and political life, that's plural life. Even economical life is plural life as well. You sell, I purchase. Yes? Got it? You rent and I give it to you. So this is a plural life to include all these uh, fields. So the plural life that is disturbed or that is destroyed by three types of amal. One Imam Rahmatullah Ali is calling it amal shahaviya. So like coyotes and dogs, they are not allowed to jump on one another. Got it? Amal shahaviya. They are fulfilling their desire. So have you seen the dogs that they are doing their marriages and then marriage hall and there will be a barbecue and food and things like that and the guests should arrive yes <laughs> on such and such time and got it have you ever seen it but they are doing that thing or not yeah the thing you know what i am referring to got it so if the human are allowed to do the same thing like coyotes and dogs and animals what will happen the system is destroyed the sociology is destroyed the political system is destroyed. The whole system is destroyed. So that's called Amal Shahaviya. The second one is Amal Sabuiya. Because human in his nature, he has darindagi like animals. Animals are jumping on one another and fighting. Yes? So if the human, they are allowed to start fight one another and kill one another and things like that, that will destroy the system. And the third thing, Imam Rahmatullahi Ali says, Amal na shi'a min suil aqsifil mu'amalat, cheating, deception in economical and financial activities. So these are three types of uh, deeds of human which destroy the system. Unfortunately, in third world, including the Muslim countries, these things are on its peak. Ahmad, what do you think? It is or not? Why? Because the system is not there. Because, say, in the book the system is there, in practice there is no system. Yes, the book works or the practice? The practice. So anyhow, Imam Rahmatullah Ali says that what is the base of all these things? He says because they are living together and all of them, they have shahwat, they have ghirat, they have greed. Three things. Number one, shahwat. With shahwat they attack, they have gherat, with that they depend, and they have greed, they attack on the wealth of one another. So three things, so Imam Rahmatullah Ali says that these three things, these are there in the animals as well. They have the shahwat, 
they have the ghairat and they have the greed but that is limited their greed is limited the dog he found somewhere a dead animal he ate to his full so what he did let the remaining he put on his shoulder and take him home or he left it he left it and he went but as far as our case is concerned ya subhanallah and imam razi in tafsir e kabir is tafsir is called tafsir e kabir that's not his name actually that's the mukhtasar name which is known for actually the kitab the book name is that's very big tafsir mafatih ul ghaib so what the tafsir name is what mafatih ul ghaib so imam razi in mafatih ul ghaib in surah rum he mentioned there wa ka'i min dabbatin la tahmilu rizqaha allah yarzuquha wa iyyakum wa huwa as-sami'ul alim allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he says that so many living entity la tahmilu rizqaha so one meaning is they are not earning their provision and allah is feeding them got it so all the animals they are doing some business or they have casco stores say are they are going for job say they are doing it but allah is feeding them or not yes. they are eating in good shape that one meaning but the other meaning is wa ka'im min dabbatin la tahmilu rizqaha ay la takalu tahmilu rizqaha that there are so many living entities they are unable to carry their food of one time and in one time how much they eat if you will put it as a burden on their body they cannot move but allah says i feed them more than their power their power is that they cannot carry one time lunch on their back and imam rahmatullah alayhi imam razi he said kanamla like the small animal how much it eat in what time if you will put it on its back then he cannot move but when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala provide him that to his full so he put it in his stomach and then he runs so allah says when i do for someone who cannot carry it and i feed him what about you got it and then dear imam razi rahmatullah alayhi he mentioned one thing that in all these living uh, moving entities in all these living moving entity he said that only three kinds are there that they are hoarding what they are doing accumulating a hoarding making zakhira making zakh zakhira he said annamla warfara wa banu adam the any the ant yes they are collecting things in their hole if you will yes break their hole you will see whatever they are able to take there so they are putting it there they cannot eat it yes but they are hoarding what they are doing the hoarding and number 2 well fara the rat yes these rats they are such a army that they are taking everything yes if they find a fabric they take it to their hole they find a plastic they take it to their hole a food they take it to their hole got it and in the hadith imam tirmizi narrates rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam says when you are going to sleep so turn off your light at that time the light was that of oil open oil in a pot and here is the fatil what is the fatil the fatil is gone yes that you are huh the wick the wick yes so there is the wick so the wick you let the fire and it gives you so rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said turn off the the, the mishal yes that that to wick yes kela kela tal abbik al fusiqa because the small fasiq may not play game with you so small fasiq rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was referring to the rat that rat is shaitan yes he will come there and the burning wick he will hold it from the other side and take it towards your cabinet and all your dresses are there and you are maybe you get burnt so that's why rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that when you are going to sleep just turn off your lights yes and that's why when you are going to sleep turn off your ac even because sometimes the poisonous gas come out yes yesterday in pakistan on motorway so some one car yes the engine was not working or something so there is hot weather so the ac was on a five of them they died in the car so anyhow ha huh. so imam rahmatullah alayhi says that the for whole mean the youth are the young animal they are fighting on their shahwat with one another and the powerful one he overtakes the other and the other runs away yes and he gets the wife yes got it so anyhow 
Imamat Allah Ali says, if we will allow the same for human, what will happen? They have the aql, there will be a bloodshed. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made the zina haram. And also, Imam Ratullah Ali says, that, he, that animals by nature, they are inclined to their female. Inclined to them. And same is the case of uh, human. They are inclined to what? To the female. But some of them, on whom are who have been taken by their shahwati razila, Shahwati? Razila, their razil shahwat. So they are male and they are going to male, inclined to male. So Imam Ramatullah Ali says that what is this? Number one, a very dirty practice. That is a very dirty practice. And number two, Imam Ramatullah Ali says if that is introduced in them generally, so what will happen in Qita al Nasal? That there will be no next generation. You know what I'm saying? So Imam Ramatullah Ali says that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made sodomy haram. Got it? Then Imam Ramatullah Ali says that. Uh, Idmanul Khamar are to be addicted to alcoholic drinks. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he made it haram. Why he made it haram? Because when people are drunk, a majority of people, that's why uh, at night on the freeway, yes, they are putting the breathalyzer. Yes, or sometimes they are doing general checking. They do you drink? Yes, so that one friend of all, he said, yes. Yes. <laughs> they stopped him. They said, do you drink? So, what he said? He said, yes. So, the, the, so the, <laughs> the, the, the police guy, he asked him, what? He said, mineral water. <laughs> he said, mineral water. Yes. So, Imam Ramadan says, number one, that addiction will destroy the system. Number one. And number two, it will create the bloodshed because they are not in their sense. Yes. And they are hitting here and there for no reason. <clears throat> then Imam Ramatullahi Ali, now he says that last night, as we mentioned, that Imam says Ramatullahi Ali, that animals naturally, they are standing up to their mutawaham or mahsus demand. What is coming in their brain? They are regarding greenery. So they are trying to, to break their rope even and to go somewhere to have some grass and to eat it. Yes, that's mutawaham. It came into their brain and that's why they are. Ah, they saw the greenery, so then they rush to that and they eat it. But Imam Ramatullah says, along with these two, the human, he is looking for ma'kul also, what is coming in his aql. So he says, how I will grab it. This whole plotting and this whole bloodshed which is going on, this is because of tawahum or because of visibility. No, this is because of aql. Because that came in their aql, how to destroy this nation to grab that area and to make uh, Mingurian seaport. So anyhow, got me. Got or not? It? This Ahmad is not telling us the truth. That the agenda is like this, but they are, I don't know why. Yes? Huh? Is it so or not? Yes. yes. So anyhow, <clears throat> so that is based on their aql. That's why they are plotting such like bloodshed and such like genocide, not bloodshed. This what? This genocide. Yes, our ethnic cleansing. Wala fa'ala Allah. Say Ameen. Wala fa'ala Allah. Say Ameen. Wala fa'ala Allah. Say Ameen. So anyhow, Imam Rahmatullahi Ali says, that now, if there is no control on human and they will start fighting like this, so what will happen there? That the ma'ishat, that is gone. The life, that is gone. So now Imam Rabbul says that that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has made the qatl haram. If qatl is? Haram. Yes, and to stop it, that's why he revealed the rule of qisas, retribution. The rule of qisas and retribution. That the Qatil, he must be killed. So the society and the community, they must get a message there from. If he will do the same thing, yes, our head would be cut in the same way. So Imam Rahmatullah Ali says, Wahaja fin al fi suduri baazi misl mahaja fi suduri al awwalin. And arose there in the, in the chest of so many people, min al 
the enmity misla mahaja fi sudur al awwalin the way it was arose there in the chest of those who passed away before wa khafu al qisasa but they had a fear of qisas fan hadaru so now they were not going to use the dead weapon to use the dead weapon because they would be held and they would be taken to what qisas so that qisa this qisas stopped them from their type of killing but still their nature was to kill someone so imam rahmatullah alayhi says from using a uh, dead weapon they went to work to put secretly and hiddenly some poison in the food of their enemy got it so fan hadaru so they came down ila an yadussu as-summa to put some sum or zahar or uh, poison fi at-ta'am aw yaqtulu bi sihr or with black magic to kill his enemy with the black magic wa hadha haluhu bi manzilati halat al-halat al-qatl if somebody is doing this that is also a qatl that's also a killing bal ashadd minhu imam rahmatullah alayhi said this type of killing that's actually the practice of a buzdil and coward guy at least the one who has the gun or the sword in his hand and come to face his enemy he has a type of ghaira but someone who is putting poison hiddenly in the pot he is a bagharat yes or someone who is going to black magic yes so say who is going to black magic yes so today we are mentioning it. the afghans are mutawahham so anyhow they are believing in pargan and number 2 in in what in jadu yes i don't know why you people are believing that much in these things pargan and number 2 jadu and number 3 ps <laughs> yes. yes in three things yes and if you want you made it uh, four arkan so then mantu Yes, and if the fifth one becomes arkan or fire, so then she'll burn you. Yeah, I don't say the other one. <laughs> she'll burn you. Yes, got it. So Imam Ramadullah Ali says, "Wahaza halhu mandrati hal al-qatl bal ashadu minhu, fa inna al-qatl zahirun." Because if you are enemy. He is coming to face you. He has the weapon. You have the weapon. You can protect and defend yourself. But if somebody hiddenly is putting poison in your food, how you would defend yourself? That is not seen. So Imam Abu Talib says that this type of